Hello, uh, welcome to part 3 on my video tutorial. If you're joining me from YouTube, uh, there will be a link in the description for the forum thread on the guide, as well as links to all the resources and uh, programs and songs that I'll be mentioning in this video. If you're joining me on the f uh, forums, well, you already have the thread and the links are there. So, in this video I will be explaining on how to use third-party programs, uh, musical composition programs to maybe make life easier when composing music in the game for uh, Arcage. <clears throat> it can get a bit uh, confusing if you've got you know, a thousand characters as just a single block of text. It's very uh, very confusing. So the first program I want to mention is a program called 3MLE. It's called the 3ML Editor, known as the Mabinogi MML Editor. Uh, there was a game, there still is a game, called Mabinogi, which is owned by Nexon, developed by DevCat. In that game, it uses the same musical system that Arcade uses, which is the MML music system. And although it is a little bit more robust in Mabinogi, it's still nonetheless, uh, or Arcade is nonetheless as good as Mabinogi. But this is a program that was designed for use in Mabinogi, but it still works as well in uh, Arcade. But there are some things that uh, you need to know before you start composing in this, as uh, I will go over right now. So as you know in uh, the previous videos and guides and whatnot, that the defaults for uh, for Arcade are different. So the tempo is 100 and the default volume is 100, and default note length you don't need to worry about that. But octave change, there's 10 octaves, but 3MLE only goes up to, uh, I believe, 8 octaves. Yeah, I think it's 8 octaves. So that's another thing to keep in mind. The volume for this is 0 to 127, but in MML, or at least in 3MLE, the maximum volume is 15. It's 1 to 15. So keep that in mind as well. The default tempo is 100, and I think the default tempo for... Uh, for 3MLE is also 100, but I could be wrong on that. So that's another thing to uh, keep in mind. Anyway, uh, so I'll go ahead and explain how to use 3MLE real quick. So here, you have three different tracks by default when you run the program. Uh, I'm in the wrong program. Let me switch real quick. I have a special 3MLE, 3MLE that uh, I edited so that it's a little bit easier or uh, more compatible with Arcage. So here we have a list of instruments and uh, we'll go ahead and do flute and we can type something in here like C D E F. We'll go ahead and play it. And as you see you get the notes here. You can't change them, sadly. This is just a uh, this area here is just to show you what's going on. If you want to add another track, you can't use a comma like you can in Arcage here. So what you have to do is you have to go up here and not right click, go up here to track and click append track, and this will make a second track where you can uh, I don't know change the octave to 05 and then do C D E F. And I can see that. And when we play it, we go back to the beginning. Oh, I forgot to mention that it defaults to the first instrument, so you need to change that. So there we go. And uh, the bars here will get thinner or smaller depending on which track you have selected. So if you have, uh, if you've got lots of tracks, maybe like 10 to 15, uh, the colors start looking the same. There might be like a light orange and then a slightly darker orange. Anyway, <clears throat> you probably won't be using that many tracks, maybe only two to three, since there's a thousand character limit. So that's that. The default octave... Oh, here are the defaults, down here. So the default volume is eight, you don't really need to worry about that. Uh, that's about volume... I guess about 70 or 80. But uh, you can always change it uh, in the game when you paste everything in. Uh, the default tempo here is 120. If you want to be using the defaults for 
arc age, you would have to put that in here. So tempo 100. You do not need to put the tempo on every track. Uh, that's the way that MML works. Every, all the tracks play at the same speed, so as long as you have one tempo indicator on one track, it'll be fine. The octave for 3 MLE is octave 4, however the game is octave 5. But since this only has 8 octaves, it's a little bit confusing, so octave 4 may sound like octave 5 in the game, and uh, or is it octave 3, I think. Anyway, <clears throat> so that's that. Um, usually, you you put everything into 3MLE, and then after you paste it into the game, you can uh, fix everything up that you need to. Whoops. Okay. I just want to make sure that it's recording. Okay. So, next part, so that's the tempo, and if you want maximum volume, you do V15, CDEF. Much louder. But volume 8 or volume 10 works as well. If you want to make things easier, you could just do increments of uh, 10 in the game. So volume 1 here would be volume 10 in the game uh, and then you would just ignore the the uh, the 27 volume increments after 100 it's up to you, it's how you want to do it it's whatever is less confusing for you so that's MML uh, I'm not going to type out a song, I'm just gonna load up a song that I already have no I don't want to save so we'll go ahead and open up Katamari which I'm sure you're familiar with as I've already had it so here we have some text here describing what's going on. Uh, you don't need to worry about that. Usually if you were paste a song it would just be one line or a big block of text without these little uh, green green text here. So the tempo for Katamari is 161. The volume starts out in octave 3. I usually switch it to octave 5 which is what the game uses. But as you can tell, it's really loud, so I switch it to octave 4. Uh, so here we have all the different notes, and I'm just going to change the volume so I can talk while it's playing. So as you can see as it's playing, it's highlighting each of the notes. So if you notice that it's uh if you notice that there's a note that's wrong, you can pause it right when the note is playing and it'll highlight whatever note there is. So it's D4 is this note right here. And the next one after it is C sharp. And the one after it is D D4 again. And the numbers indicate how long the note plays. So when you have your song finished, you will go up here to File, and then you're going to Export MML to Clipboard. You'll get this thing. Uh, you, don't know where, you don't need to worry about that. Um, Optimized MML you will need to worry about. Um, you could optimize it uh, when you're exporting it, but a safer thing would to do would probably be to go right click on the track and click optimize track. This will shorten everything down, it'll also get rid of all those uh, green things that are there. And I hit a key. Yeah. Um, this will shorten everything down, and if you noticed before it was 500 something characters, and now it's only 380, which is awesome. That fits within my 400 character limit. One of the problems that you might get with optimizing the MML is you may get notes like these N keys, so N86, N32. 
and 32. So you might get these at the very end. And I don't want you to play there. Don't want you to play there. <laughs> so as you see, it does play within the game, but our, if I were to input those into... Uh, someone's invited me to a raid. If I were to input these into the game here, and 32, and 86, whatever, and I play the music, it's not going to work. Arcade MML does not support these end keys or end characters. So what you have to do is you have to go and find them in the uh, invent list here. So the last one here is G sharp on octave 2. So that would be O2 G plus. I said plus. And that gets our thing here. So on the left side here is the event list. This lists every event that will happen in the song uh, notes, rests, octave changes uh, well not octave changes, that's MIDI um, but everything you need to hear and it also gives you at what tick uh, you don't need to worry about ticks, you just need to worry about not the tempo but uh, what measures they are, they're split into different measures for easier and then you have numbers up here which indicate what measures they are but I know for a fact that the last one is the last song and this next N key right here, N43, is the same thing as G on octave 3. And then the next one is D on octave 7. So if you were to optimize the MML you'll have to go and change all these N characters to the proper things. And when you do optimize it, sometimes there are a lot of those N uh, characters. So sometimes it might be best not to optimize if uh, time is of the essence. So that's sort of the basics on how to use uh, 3MLE. On the left here, I said before, you have these instruments. You do not need to worry about the ones below here. These are instruments that are not in the game. Well, they are in the game, but they're named differently here. Uh, the lute is the same thing as a nylon, nylon string guitar, but for specific reasons, I've renamed them for easier use. Mm. So that's writing music and editing music in the game, or in the uh, program here. There's different settings that you don't need to worry about, but you can change. Uh, these are ticks per quarter note, you do not need to worry about those. Drawing frame rate, you don't need to worry about that either. Alpha blend, don't need to worry about that. Uh, create new tracks, I've set it to one, since most people are probably only going to be making one track. And of course, if you can change that later on if you'd like. These you don't need to worry about either. These are changing hotkeys for the program. Here is your MIDI output and other programs. You want it to set to Microsoft MIDI Mapper and the GM system. Uh, you don't really need to worry about that either. Here is the the definition file. This is what indicates this indicates what instruments are available. So in that definition file, I have the list of instruments and what number they're assigned to uh, which plays the instrument sound from the MIDI library. Um, what else is there? Oh yeah, DLS playback. The DLS file is a downloadable sound file. That's what it stands for. DLS is there's a file in the Arcage game and it's called default.dls and I ripped it from the pack file and it's available in this program now since I've changed that but anyway those are the different settings there's different controls here as I said before there's tracks you can optimize all the tracks not just that here you can look at the properties for the tracks as well as different tracks uh, you can change the volume for them 
and just set it to 100. Uh, pan pot changes the left or right volume if it comes out of the right speaker more, if it comes out of the left speaker more. But that doesn't mean anything. Uh, it just changes how the program reacts. This doesn't actually change the actual music. It just change how it changes how the music or how the program plays the music. Mm, what else? So here we can change views. So if you don't want the uh, event viewer event list on the on the bleh, on the left, you can do that. Vertical align gets rid of the event viewer and gives you the text down here at the bottom as well as the piano roll. Uh, I prefer all. So here we have a playback monitor as well as a keyboard. And of course you can use this uh, keyboard here to add instruments, or not instruments, notes to the game, to the program. And you can use a scroll bar here to change octaves. So here's octave 4, octave 5. So the different things. And up here is, if you had multiple tracks, it would list lower. But when you uh, when you play the song, it lists uh, the different keys that are being pressed. So that's that. There's a uh, edit thing which lets you uh, you can search for characters that are in here. So I can do E2. Whoops, I need to search down, and it'll find E2 there. And if I wanted to, so remember how I had N46 that was in there, I could essentially do a search for N46 that are all in the, uh, in the thing, and I can replace it with, what was it, uh, Octave 3 G Sharp or something? Anyway, you could do that, and then you'd replace it, and it would change that N46 to the proper, to the proper character that will play in the game. And here you have your different things. You can also import and export as a MIDI file. That is the next step that I will explain very shortly. But here you have the export MML. So I don't need to optimize. But you just copy the MML. It'll give it a rank, and that's related to Mabinogi, not Arcage. Why are people giving me raid invites? Once you have it copied to the clipboard, all you have to do is hit Control V, and that will paste it in. And then you go over here to the beginning, you delete the MML at, you leave the tempo the same, the volume, the volume will need to be changed to, I don't know, uh, 100. Actually, if it's default, I can just leave it like that, leave it blank, and it'll automatically play at volume 100. If you paste it in, and there is no volume, or sorry, no tempo, then you need to put T120, because... 3 Amelie has a default tempo of 120. I can I can show that here. So the default tempo was 120. You will need to go into the arcade sheet music here and put T20 120 at the beginning. If not, then it'll play at tempo 100, which is too slow. It's slower than what uh, you were composing for. Also the same with octave four. With the optimization in 3 3 Amelie. If you have octave 4 at the beginning, say C, D, E, F, and I right click and optimize track, it's going to get rid of that octave 4 because the default is already octave 4. Sadly, I can't change that in any of the settings that's actually uh, coded into the program and I can't program. So, sorry. <laughs> anyway, if you copy and paste and you don't have an octave at the very beginning, you'll need to change that. So, octave 4. Play music. Because Arcage has 10 octaves instead of 8, like 3 MLE, you may need to change things. And tempo 120 is too slow. That sounds about right. However, that's <laughs> really loud. However, Octave 5 is already the default, so I don't need to put it in, so I can just delete it. And if I were to play the music again, it would sound exactly the same. And the reason you want to use these defaults to your advantage is that you can shave maybe five, six characters off of the uh, music sheet. And if you can do that, that's an extra three or four notes that you can add to the song. 
So that's using 3MLE. The next program would be Anvil, which is here. I said here. It's lagging a little bit. <laughs> there we go. So Anvil here is similar to 3MLE, except that it doesn't use MML, it actually uses MIDI. MIDI is, it's similar to 3, or uh, it's similar to MML, but it's a lot more robust and has a lot more, uh, what's the word, instruments, sounds, well it has the same amount of instruments, but you can do a lot more crazy stuff with this. So one of the things that 3MLE does not do is two notes at the same time on the same track, but with MIDI you can. So if we go here to track, we go ahead and create an instrument track, and uh, piano, no, composer. So if I was here, if you uncheck insert mode here, and yeah, it's a little bit low, and if I were to go back and click on the note here and do a second note, I can then play two notes at the same time that are on the same track. And if I wanted to, I could go back and put a third note. So if I were to play it, it sound like this. Anyway, but having multiple tracks per, or multiple notes per track causes a problem with 3MLE. Here, here, let me delete this. Here I have a song that I've been working on. This is the Capital City of Flowers for, or from To'o. I'm composing, or at least transcribing this for use in Mabinogi. And let's go over here. Let's scroll down a little bit. As you can see, there are multiple notes being played at the same time. And if I were to play it, it sounded like this. That was a little bit loud, I'm sorry about that. Um, anyway. Now if I were to file, save the song as a MIDI, if I were to go into 3MLE, we'll make a new file, we'll go file, and then we'll import standard MIDI file. I will navigate to where my song is. I'll open it. Here we have our three tracks that were from it. This first track here uh, contains the tempo and that's about it. You can move it later if you'd like. Quantization settings... Um, how do I explain that? So if you had nothing but quarter notes in the song, you could do quantization quarter note and that will uh, change how everything is displayed, but if you have 64th notes, and if you were to do quarter notes, it would turn all those 64th notes into quarter notes as well. So it becomes a little bit of a problem. So I usually set the uh, quantization to 164. So here we have the song. I've already uh, edited some of it. So here we have our tempo, which is 147. Here we have all of our songs, and uh, I will go ahead and play it for now, and I'll, you'll see what it sounds like. And right here is where I haven't gotten rid of all the double notes, although these aren't really quite double notes, they're uh, notes that extend onto each other, and that becomes a problem. Let me mute 
these. So as you can tell, it sounds wrong. It completely wrong. And that's where you have to use a MIDI program like Anvil here. And what you have to do is you have to move these songs to, or not these songs, but these notes to a different track. Or, as you'd notice earlier, where was it? Uh, around the second set. Let me extend it a little bit. There we go. So as you noticed earlier, yeah, still not working. Uh, <laughs> Anvil's not the best program, but it is one of the best free programs. So over here is where it started messing up. So what you can do, what you do is you drag in, uh, you drag these things so that they're no longer overlapping. Whoops, that one moved a spot. If it moves a spot, then you have to move it back, which is a pain in the ass. There we go. So after these notes are no longer overlapping each other, they will play properly in 3MLE. And that's what Anvil is used for. That was loud, I'm sorry. <laughs> What else? What else? What else? Anything on my notes? Uh, nothing much. I think that's about it. Um, so you have your to recap over the things. You have three MLE here, which is used for writing MML. Then you have MIDI here, which is used for writing more complicated songs. Um, although I wouldn't recommend it if you're writing a song from scratch, I suggest using 3MLE. If you're converting a song from MIDI to MML, then you have to load the song first into Anvil here. And I will go ahead and pull up the original. No, I don't want to save. So here's what the original looked like. It had 16 tracks, and when you played it, I'll go ahead and skip ahead, maybe. And when you played it, it sounded like this. It sounds much better than uh, the three tracks that I had than I had uh, chosen before. The reason being is that. Uh, Mabinogi, unlike Arcage, doesn't have an unlimited number of tracks. So in Arcage, as long as you have room to type, giant, GM, okay. As long as you have room for characters, you can put as you can put as many uh, tracks as you want, and they'll all play at the same time. Mabinogi, however, is limited to four tracks. However, they do have an increased number of characters. So two of the tracks are 1,200 characters, another one is 850, and the other one is 750 or something like that. Anyway, it comes out to a little over 3,000, which is really great. Oh yes, uh, so you will have to get rid of all of the unimportant sounds, and for this song, or at least for any song, you definitely want to get rid of the drums if you're not going to be using them. So you right click on that, go delete track, and you get rid of it. Or uh, actually, what I would probably do, and I can't undo that. Ooh, no, 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 don't save changes. Uh, what I would usually do is, if you click here, you can mute or solo a single track. So what I would do, I usually do, is I go around and mute tracks that I don't need, or I think I don't need, which happens to be these. Uh, I think that's right.
skip ahead a bit. You see that these tracks no longer play. And as the song is playing, I will enable and disable certain tracks to see uh, what the bare minimum number of tracks I need to make the song sound right. And the, uh, f frankly, the lower number, or the least number of tracks you have, the more room you have and the longer your song can be. So with Arcage, if you have more tracks, your song is going to be significantly shorter. So I would probably keep songs to one, two, maybe a maximum of three. Mm. I think that about covers it. Uh, you can get midis on Google. You can just search for a song, say like uh, Through the Fire and Flames. You type that into Google and you put midi at the end, M-I-D-I. And you hit enter and it'll bring up a bunch of results and you just download the MIDI file for free and load it up into Anvil, play it, get rid of tracks you don't need, get rid of double notes, or move a double note to a second track, which is what I plan on doing uh, which is what I plan on doing here. Uh, I'll move all the notes that are on top to a second channel or a second track. And then uh, hopefully that will get rid of all the double notes. Hopefully. But as you can see, there are notes here that overlap, and I will obviously have to go in and shorten those so that they play properly. I uh, that about covers it. <laughs> it's probably been a bit confusing. I'm not a very good speaker. Um, thanks for watching.